Hey there! Today, we are going to talk about Bayesian optimization, which is an incredibly powerful technique for finding the maximum of expensive to evaluate functions. And, as a result, we'll be using oil drilling as our running example to make this super intuitive. Thus, imagine you are an oil prospector with a vast stretch of unexplored land. Your goal is to find the location with the maximum oil content. But here is a catch. Drilling is extremely expensive. Each test hole costs millions of dollars, so you want to find that sweet spot with as few drilling operations as possible. The challenge is that initially you have no idea where the oil is distributed. It could be concentrated in one area or spread across multiple locations. This is where Bayesian optimization comes in. To estimate the true distribution of oil, based on the limited data points we have collected so far. So, after drilling at just one location, let's say x equals to 0.5, we get a prediction line for the entire area. But what's special is that we also get those beautiful uncertainty bands, showing plus or minus the sigma around our prediction. Notice how uncertainty is more or near our data point and grows larger as we move away. This reflects our intuition that we are less certain about areas we haven't explored. And as we drill at new locations and add those data points to our model, the uncertainty around this area shrinks as well, gradually building our confidence in the predictions. Thus, as we collect more data points by drilling at new locations, our model continuously updates, improving its predictions, and shrinking those uncertainty bands around areas we have explored. If our goal was just to accurately model the entire oil distribution, we would use active learning. The strategy is simple. Always drill where our uncertainty is highest. This ensures that we explore the whole area effectively, reducing our uncertainty everywhere. But while this gives us a great map of oil distribution, it might take many expensive drilling operations before we find the maximum. Bayesian optimization takes a smarter approach, and instead of only exploring, it balances exploration with exploitation. This means we want to drill in areas that either have high predicted oil content or high uncertainty, or ideally, both. This balancing act is handled by what we call acquisition functions. The simplest one is the upper confidence bound or UCB in short. Mathematically, it's alpha of x equals mu of x plus lambda times sigma of x. Here, mu represents our predicted oil content at location x, and sigma is our uncertainty. The lambda parameter controls how much we value exploration versus exploitation. Higher lambda means more exploration, and lower lambda means less exploration and more exploitation. And if we follow the updates provided by this function, we'll gradually converge towards the true maximum as our model becomes more accurate with each new drilling operation. The UCB naturally shifts from exploration to exploitation as our uncertainty decreases in promising regions. Other popular acquisition functions include probability of improvement, or PI, and expected improvement, or EI. The probability of improvement measures how likely we are to improve upon our current best location and is calculated as the probability that f of x is greater than f of x plus plus epsilon, where x plus is our current best location and epsilon is a small positive number. The expected improvement goes one step further, considering not just whether we will improve, but by how much. It's the expected value of the maximum of 0 and f of x minus f of x plus minus epsilon, and this rewards locations that might give us large improvements. By adjusting parameters like lambda or epsilon, we can control this trade-off. Higher values favor exploration of uncertain areas, while lower values concentrate on exploiting promising regions. And this intelligent sampling strategy is quite efficient. With just a few well-chosen drilling operations, we can often locate the global maximum far outperforming random or grid search methods that might require thousands of evaluations. To visualize this efficiently directly, let's compare how different search methods evolve when looking for maximum oil. 
Our graph shows the true distribution of oil on the left with each method sampling points and their convergence on the right. Watch what happens as we add points one by one. Grid search, which is the blue point, starts at 0.75, random search, which is the red point at 1.3, and Bayesian optimization, which is the green point, starts around the minimum area of 3.0. Each method records its initial value on the convergence graph on the right. With each new drilling operation, the three approaches show quite different behaviors. Grid search methodically places points at fixed intervals, while random search scatters them unpredictably. Meanwhile, Bayesian optimization selection becomes increasingly focused around the initial area, but as it explores further, we find better points around the global maximum and we get closer to the peak by exploiting the previous knowledge. By the fifth evaluation, the difference is striking. Bayesian optimization reaches a value of around 8.2, significantly outperforming both grid search with 7.2 and random search with 6.8, and this happens because Bayesian optimization learns from each new data point, whereas traditional methods don't adjust their strategy based on previous findings. Thus, this makes Bayesian optimization perfect for hyperparameter tuning in machine learning. Imagine each drilling operation as training a neural network with a specific learning rate and batch size. Since training is computationally expensive, we want to find the best hyperparameters with as few training runs as possible. And by treating the accuracy as our oil content and the hyperparameters as our location, we can apply the exact same Bayesian optimization process. We start with a few initial training runs, build our surrogate model, find a hyperparameter setting that maximizes our acquisition function, evaluate the new point, update the model, and repeat. What makes this approach so powerful is that it adapts to the landscape it's exploring, and the acquisition function naturally guides us to promising regions and helps us avoiding wasting evaluations in poor areas. So, to summarize, Bayesian optimization is perfect for optimizing expensive black box functions. It uses surrogate models like Gaussian processes to model the function, balances exploration versus exploitation to clever acquisition functions, and effectively refines the optimum with minimal evaluations. And that's basically it. So, the next time you are faced with an expensive optimization problem, whether it's finding oil, tuning hyperparameters, or designing experiments, remember that the Bayesian optimization could be very useful in this process. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe to be up to date with the content I create on this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!